Hello, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Painting with Rory. Uh, let's bring up my director and co-host, Miss Sandy B. Come on up. Hello. Hey there. Uh, we have a special guest tonight. We do. Yes. Uh, Drum roll. Painting, painting again. <laughs> Bob Ross and painting go together. <laughs> Let's bring him up. <laughs> it's the other Bob Ross, <laughs> who's more of a, Hello. Hello. Than a painter. Hello, Bob Ross. Hey there. Um, we're we're going to do something a little different tonight. We're going to start out with some music from Bob Ross. Yeah. Uh, while I get my palette together, uh, so I can start painting my painting. We're going to do seventies trivia a little in a little bit. So, uh, but let's uh, let's have some music while we're waiting for people to roll in. 
Great. Well, thank you guys for having me. And um, I left my Afro at home. So I'm going to be the other Bob <laughs> Ross. I'm going to be the Bob Ross that's still alive tonight. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's better. So, the living, yeah. breathing Bob Ross. Yes, the living, breathing one. But uh, but some people tell me my voice can be soothing and, and kind of therapeutic. My, none of my exes say that, but other people do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're um, a comedian, Bob Ross. I don't care yeah. what anybody says. Well, I, I got to laugh so I don't cry. There's, that's oftentimes <laughs> the case. So, um, so I'm going to play a song. I'll just... Uh, Start out with one that uh, that I usually start start with, and uh, start playing. Oops! It's so nice to thank you all for having me too. Um, it's been a while. I love this show, so it's really nice to be on it tonight. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm ready to roll. The cosmos, the universe loves you, Bob, and uh, I'm <laughs> we haven't seen you in a while, so. Uh, we thought we'd have you on the show tonight. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been it's a delight. I've been hanging out with a bunch of people tonight on uh, on Facebook on uh, on SDF, and I was uh, hanging out with Lily a little bit just about forty five minutes ago. And it's such uh, such an awesome community we have. Yeah. All right. <laughs>
your dreams come true. I'll be there with you. All right. Thanks a lot. You got a button. You got a button. Thank you. That was so good. I can't believe, like, that was so good. Like, um, how did you prepare for this, or did you just like whip this out tonight? Well, I've been I've been playing live a good bit lately, and and uh, performing too. So it's it's kind of easy. I mean, I wrote the song 25, 30 years ago, so it's it's not like I don't know it. <laughs> Excuse me while I whip this out. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's getting better. And, you know, that's the cool thing about this community. And, and it started just because we were all locked up at home. So, but we all played, we played more, we hung out more, we, we challenged ourselves in every way. And it's fantastic to watch. Anyway. And we became a family for it, you know, yeah. we became family. Like, I think of you guys like my brothers now. Oh yeah, all the time. Whether I'm on Facebook or not, I'm thinking about everybody in my family here. It's just a big family. I mean, I still have all my friends here in my world, but now I have these these other friends, and it's fantastic because sometimes they come to see me, and sometimes I'll go to Atlanta and see them. You know, so it's it's uh, it's it's great. God, yeah. I've had the That's honor. That's so awesome, and you have a bed and breakfast where you can accommodate a lot of people. Yeah, it's uh, it is. It's um, I'm expanding that too. Uh, starting in June, I'll have two more bedrooms available, and uh, and that those two bedrooms will also have their own kitchen. So that'll be four kitchens in the house and nine bedrooms. Oh wow! Yeah, and I, way too many kitchens, but uh, <laughs> actually, uh, I don't think it's too many. <laughs> well, you know, if you got a lot of cooks, it's nice to have a bunch of kitchens. Well, I don't think it's too many because, you know, like where, when you have a family, like if you travel as a family, you kind right. of need, used to that privacy. You kind of need that privacy. And um, it's it, it is more comfortable when you have your own little space, you know, when you travel. So yeah. It's amazing that you are able to offer that to the to the people well, in our community. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I I do. I rent out individual suites. Yeah, but what I'm really working on is uh, is building a, an audio video studio in the house. I have another space uh, that's currently in a storage room, but I'm starting to build the equipment and uh, the the gear I'll need for it. We're gonna have a great studio and a house full of musicians and artists and actors and doing independent uh, videos and music. Uh, this is, you know, it's. It, I'm not going to make a killing doing this, but I'm going to have a great time for the rest of my life, sharing. That's what, that's what you want. Is you want you want uh, performers and people to come visit you, and jam with you, uh, you know, and have a good time uh, at your place. And I, I get that. That's very cool. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, also have bands do their do their studio work here and stay for a week or two, depending on how long they want to work on their. Their albums. Um, that was a lot of times. A lot of bands did that. They would isolate together and just build their music. Um, uh, so, and also create bands and create. I, you know, I, I, I love music. And I'm not a very good actor, but I love I love the theater and I love movies and good plot lines. So, I'm really hoping that we can explore do uh, music videos that are extended with. You know, with real meaning to this, to the you know, in, on the video side, uh, to go along with the words, to uh, to create really short stories related to music. Because when I write a song, and I'm I'm not trying to talk too much. I'm sorry, y'all. But when I'm writing a song, um, I'm I'm expressing feelings that I'm going through, and then then as the song, the words come together, the images come together, and I have these images. So when I'm singing that song, all of these Im images are running through my head. I'm standing on my porch at one point. Another point, I'm looking north. And, and you know, it's just these images that run through my head when the, when the lyrics come out. But anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I'll shut the valve. <laughs> well, um, let, me, let me run my mouth a little bit, too, because I like to run my mouth, too, Bob. Um, 
I just want to say, like you, you're a multifaceted human being that we love. Part, you're now family member. You have this amazing place, uh, bed and breakfast in Athens, Georgia. That's you welcome everybody, and not only that can they come and stay and bring their families and stay with you, but they could become part of the family and they could um, play music there and jam out and cook in the kitchen and get crafty and do whatever, right? And you have oh, yeah. amazing, you have an organic garden, you're into organic gardening, you're into um, eating healthy. And like, I mean, I just want to come, me and my family want to come so bad. Like I want to come, oh, yeah. I just, hasn't and, happened and yet. Want, I, it, it's gotta happen, it has to happen. And everyone yeah, I mean, that's gotten to go there is so lucky. Well, it's, we've had some great times. We've had some wonderful parties here with uh, with SDF and KMH people, and and it's been um, it's been great. I'm really hoping uh, someday the Cosmos uh, uh, a branch of the family will get together down here and we'll have a, a hangout for a week. It would be wonderful. And then you could go drive like a little bit from your bed and breakfast. You could drive and be right in downtown Atlanta. It's about a 70, 70 mile drive to to uh, to uh, downtown, uh, but uh, I'm in Athens too. So, I mean, there is actually a lot going on here in Athens as well. Um, right, 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 so right. But and, I'm hoping, um, yeah. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, um, yeah, um, everything you were saying. And then, um, so Rory is painting someone tonight and, um, Part of the trivia that we do every week is that if you guess who Rory's painting, because he never tells us, you know, sometimes I don't even know. He doesn't even tell me. Um, so whoever Rory's painting, if you guess who's Rory's painting, you do get a point towards the trivia game, which we haven't even started yet. So we're going to start that. Um, but Rory, can you give us like a little close up or preview so we could see? Who it is that if you might so we can start making guesses. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna know. Is it too late for the close up? It's oh, it's no. it's getting it's getting to look like the person already. Oh, no. Wait, um, let me see. Oh, oh snap! You see that? Oh snap! And the the papers oh, yeah. underneath. <laughs> oh yeah. So I got to pick a, a prize uh, to give away here. Oh, um, I, I forgot to pick a prize. We don't have a prize. Is it, can any wait? Who, can anyone guess who that he's painting? Oh, uh, one thing I did want to show everybody. Renee's something I'm here working on. And John Duncan uh, is here from Tasmania, Australia. So, John, as, you got to get to uh, Bob's Airbnb. You got to get there. As, yeah. as you may or may not know, I I am doing a project called the Iconic Art Project. Uh, where I collected a bunch of art, uh, replicas of art. And uh, uh, one of the things that I'm working on is uh, framing this. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that's uh, Leonardo da Vinci. But it's Leonardo da Vinci's uh, portrait of an old man, uh, which they thought was a self-portrait, but then uh, uh, experts were like, well, no, he wouldn't have been that old at that time. So it was probably his uncle or his father that he was sketching um and so i've copied the sketch on parchment paper i've torn the edges um, i'm going to go along the side uh and stain the edges with a with kind of a brownish stain uh and then i'm going to put it in a black frame now um uh i want you to take a close look at it The, the, the person is older than the person that I'm painting now but hey there's a lot of there's a lot of similarity here <laughs> so there's a clue for you <laughs> so uh, we're, we're gonna start our 70s trivia and uh, I'm gonna try to try to find something to give away here I might you know what I'm gonna give away a couple of stickers the new stickers from general howitzer's big monster briefing room uh, I have new stickers. Uh, that well, I can you show here. us the stickers, Rory? We want to see. Um, Let's see. Talk to Who Bob designed them and show them? Let's talk about talk about I did. it. I did. Uh, I designed you did. Them at oh, wow. MegaCon here in Orlando, and I handed out a whole bunch of them at MegaCon. Uh, give me one second, and I'll go get those. All right. You talk to Bob okay. for a minute. Bob will hang out. Don't worry. We got you. 
Um, we and we get to see Bob. Um, hold on, we get to see if anyone. Um, did anyone um, guess who Rory's painting tonight? Everyone's saying Moses is twin. Moses. I did backstage, um, but I didn't post it. Um. Yes, anybody else did. Let's see. We got Moses is twin. Jesus. Uh, wait, Sarah Grover. Sarah Grover said it's Bob. <laughs> Sarah Grover just said it's Bob. Sarah, I girl, I love you. Girl. So, uh, thank you, Sarah. Uh, uh, I wish I, I was Sarah, brilliant and so talented. Rory, Rory, tell us what's going on. Sarah said it's Bob. Is that, is that correct? Uh, Sarah gets a point because that was one of the reasons why I invited Bob on the show tonight because I was inspired to paint him. So uh -oh. he's, he's the portrait that I'm working on. Here's the new sticker. Oh, for, cool. For General oh, Howitz's Big it. Monster Breathing Room, your last I line of defense. It. Yes. Sarah gets a point. I'm starting and to hazard. <laughs> Sarah, if you win, make sure you send Rory uh, your address and DM. Okay, hold yes. on. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. She's got to. She's got to get three points. She's got to win the. Yeah, well, I know. Two. She just has one. I'm just giving her a heads up for the future. <laughs> she's got a head win. start though. Okay, she's got it. Yeah, she's got one point now. Okay, she guessed. Okay. So it is Bob Ross that you're painting. Yes. Oh my. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you know that, Bob? Did you know? No, that I painting? didn't. Uh, no, no, I didn't tell Bob. No, it was a total surprise. Wow. Um, I hope it wasn't from like a year and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Bob. I, 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 am, I am really applaud you for what you've been doing this year to lose weight and to get yeah. yourself in better shape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hit I hit uh, 62 pounds today. Then I'm down 62. Wow. I'm loving That's it. Man. Wow. I'm feeling so energetic and, and you know, just walking every day and having a really good time in life. Well, and it's great weather for walking right now. Cause it's, Bob, you know, are your eyes? Well, they're, <laughs> my sisters used to say they were blue as the sky. Okay. Um, I was paying blue eyes in cause I made that mistake uh, <laughs> when I was painting Diane. Yeah, they're blue. Um, they look blue. blue what color are your eyes, Bob? They're, they're blue, and if I put, <laughs> if I have blue around Wait, me. You should have made that a trivia question. That should have been a trivia question. All right, well, hold on. Okay. They're very and dreary. And, but I am not from the 70s. This would be trivia from the 50s, because I was born <laughs> in 58. <so. laughs> I, I asked you though uh, what what we should do for trivia, and for some reason we settled on the uh, on the trivia of the seventies. Yeah, that's probably because I was kind of coherent in the seventies, kind of. There you go. But, but this isn't about me. This is about the seventies. So, so uh, are, do we have some seventies trivia or? We do. Uh, we do. In fact, oh, hold really on. Good. I'm. 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 <laughs> I know. I. I know. I'm like. I'm like you, Bob. I'm like having. Um, anxiety over the banners right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was in there helping you. I'm having I, anxiety. It's I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I'm... Even that it's fine, it, it has to be fine. All right, here we go. Um, and if you say it, it's fine enough times, it'll become true. So yeah, According to David. Yes. That's the world according yes. to David. All right. So wait, I'm just I'm changing the banner real quick because this is... Um, this is a, 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 a cause, a, a non, a, I think it's a nonprofit that is very important and dear to your heart, Bob, and it's um, Mercy for Life. So I'm Absolutely, just putting yes. the, um, yeah, I'm putting that at the bottom so everyone can know this is, if you like, um, if you, if you want to um, follow Bob and, and watch his music and watch his gardening and, um, and, um, something that's near and dear to his heart. Um, we love Mercy for Life. So everybody go, there it is at the bottom there on the screen. So, um, and then, um, okay, so I'll do the trivia. I kind of just want to hear Bob play like another song. Well, I can do it. <laughs> we have to do the trivia? 
<laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Well, I promised. I mean, it's advertised. The trivia was well, promised. Maybe I'll do like one question. I wouldn't mind. I kind of just want to hear Bob play music well, now. You know, really, most of my life is kind of trivia anyway. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> another day so many times I've tried to tell you you're not alone in what you feel yeah I know sometimes it seems like the whole world's out to get you but you know that isn't real lay down your heavy load pressure is killing you For you, let the nightmare pass. Time for healing. I'm here with you. Wow, that was so nice. It was healing. It was healing. Yeah, there's a there's a story behind that song, and and it's pretty tragic. But I, and I don't want to tell you about it. But but yeah, yeah, yeah we needed a lot of healing in that instance. We did. It piqued our interest. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you. So much. You know the thing with with music. I've oftentimes uh, not got the words right. And back in 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 the in the Stone Age when I was growing up. Uh, you didn't have the lyrics just sitting there in front of you. So we heard things all the time. And, you know, sometimes I had the words wrong and, oh, my God, it was the song was so deep with the words that I had. <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden I realized, no, wait a minute, that's not even the meaning of the song. <laughs> anyway, It takes so much. I think it takes a lot of courage to to 
sing or perform your own music. I think it just takes so much courage because I'm still working on that. That's something I'm working on. Um, you know, I, I, I did cover songs back in the 80s. I, I did a happy hour gig where I played a bunch of John Denver and James Taylor, and, you know, Carly Simon and, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, just the, the, the good stuff. I was terrible at it. And, you know, they say, don't give up your day job. And I'd already finished my day job and I was playing this happy hour gig. And then at six o'clock, I put my guitar up and I go to the kitchen and start cooking for the restaurant that I was playing at until nine. So that was my day. I do my day job. I play an hour of music and then I work. I cook until nine at night. Anyway, that's. That's what they say. Don't give up your day job if you're a musician. <laughs> it's true. But that's um, a, that's also that 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 living of life. Is like, what I mean, anything anything that you're passionate about, um, it's not always you know conducive to paying bills. So anything you're passionate about, you gotta don't give up on your passions. You know, do right. it on the side. Do it when you can find time. Like. Like you're running a, a bread and breakfast, you're running an Airbnb, you're running a business. Um, yeah. You have to find time to to do the things that you're passionate about, which is so cool that I, I'm 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 happy when I see you doing things that you love to do that that are healing, that make you happy. You know, because you're yeah. you're gardening, you're 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 eating healthy, you're playing music, you're and shout out to Charlie Thompson. Where's Charlie Thompson tonight? I hope he's watching. Yeah. Yeah, That's um, I know yeah, he's, I he's watching. Hey, Charlie. Um, and I probably should have had him on. I'm sure he's furious at me. And Maggie's probably oh, he's pissed. furious, Maggie. Maggie is Show probably. Maggie around. Where's Maggie? Maggie's <laughs> Maggie's with with Charlie, and uh, and they're not here tonight. Um, <laughs> I, I've been working so much on the taxes. Honestly, this is the first break. I was working all day and all night last night, and. And uh, so Charlie and I haven't rehearsed for a couple of days. Um, and normally we rehearse like sometimes three or four nights in a row. And so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of empty playing these songs without him. That's why I'm playing some harmony. He's like you know, your probably, brother. You guys are like brothers. You're like. Well, like we've known each other a, long, a good long time. And, and you know, um, he's, he, he takes good care of Maggie. And that's what matters to me. And I tolerate him, you know, because he keeps, he brings Maggie over. So that's what, yeah, we're brothers. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. Does he like well, to work with you? Does he help you with any of the the, the farming? Or? Uh, Charlie oh, wait, and I still live together Rory's a little bit. an update bit. for us. Hold on. Rory? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, I love it. It's Great getting there. I got to put his glasses on. Uh, there's going to be a green background, it. of course. Oh my gosh, I love it, Rory. Oh wow! All right, Rory, that trivia that you sent me was not working. It wanted me to like sign uh -oh. up for all this weird stuff. So I had to go. I'm trying to find a new trivia. I'm sorry, Julio. Julio wants the trivia. Um, John Duncan's watching from Tasmania. John Duncan, if you ever come out. To uh, the U.S., you got to come stay at uh, Bob's. That's where it's happening. So all the magic is going down. You got to come. Well, I need to get out to the West Coast and hang out, uh, hang out with you guys too. That would be wonderful. Well, yeah. we got a place in Mexico. If anybody ever wants yeah. to come, uh, we got a place in um, San Felipe, Mexico, Baja, California, uh -huh. uh, about five-hour drive from my house. Five hour drive. It's about a five hour drive from San Diego. We have um, a tour bus that takes people down there every weekend. Every, uh, pretty much every um, weekend, except except like Christmas to New Year's. They they usually shut it down uh, Christmas to New Year's. But mm. but um, yeah, it's it's a great time if you like the the desert. It's not tropical Mexico, so a lot of people get that confused. It's it's the yeah. desert. It's the desert side of Mexico. Right, so you're in right. the desert. You have jack rabbits. You have coyotes. You have rattlesnakes. Yeah. You got, you got the 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 Sea of Cortez. It's a shrimping wow. town, but they have music festivals down there too. It's really fun. 
All right, so let me see if I can find some trivia that works. Hold on, I'm still trying to. Uh, I'm going to wet my whistle. I'll be right back. Just going to grab okay. some more. Okay. Hold on, Rory. Okay. I'm still trying to find it. All right. I got one wanted me to sign up for all kinds of weird stuff. I was like, what? What the what? Sorry. What the what the what? All right. I want here, wait. Let me do this. There we go. Now we're talking. I'm gonna do 70s music trivia. Yes, baby. Let's I think that's do what it. Bob wanted to do with 70s music. That's what I want to do too. See, I'm on the same, I'm on the same uh wavelength. All right, seven 70s music trivia questions. Here we go. Uh all right. I hope they don't want me to sign up for anything. Oh, gosh. It brought me back to the same page. All right. Here we go. Which okay. Neil Diamond song became his first to reach the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 when it hit the top in October 1970? Oh, geez. Okay. So, so think Neil Diamond song, October 1970. That's Pretty much how you got it. Hi, Bob. Okay, so did anyone get that? Oh, uh, we got it. We got some guesses coming in. Um, yeah, I'm checking. We, yeah, Jonathan. Uh, I did. I don't know the answer, so I can't say. Jonathan says, "Sweet Caroline." Okay. Um, we can. I love that. Oh, yeah, it was about Carolyn Kennedy. <laughs> da, da, da. Things could never be so good. So good. So good. <laughs> well, that's the formula for the show. All right. Let's, let's yeah, see. Song, I'm, go ahead. I'm watching. Um, no, John, John Duggan, that was a good guess. That's what I would have guessed, but um it's I think it's from that same album. I think it's on that same album. It's gotta be. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, 19 oh, October 1970. So it's a specific month. So so I don't know what year Sweet Caroline came out, but not, not 1970 was October 1970 is which Neil Diamond song was the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, I could tell you what it rhymes with as a hint. Oh, to do that, you give me the answer. Yeah. Okay. All right. John Duncan's guessing Rocky Granola Sweet. Nope. That's not it. Oh, Julio Morales got it. Crackling Rosie. Yes. Yep. Julio Morales got it. Okay. Julio gets a point. All right. The bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Crackling Rosie. That was it. Yeah. I, I I knew, but I didn't want to guess because I'm, I'm, that would be rigged if I guessed. You can't, you can't because you're the guest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's always hard for the guests of this show, Rory, is that like anybody yeah. that's ever a guest, they always have a hard time. Like, because it's hard. You have to like train yourself not to give the answers because it might be the right answer. You know, you might be well, giving out the right answer. You know, it's hard for me. A, oh. <laughs> I, I have a little the story I want to share about uh, Crackling Rose. I was uh, when I was uh, uh, twelve years old. My brothers and I had a morning paper route. We actually had two morning paper routes, and between the three of us, we did them. And I had a transistor radio. That was like the luxury of being a paper boy. Is I had money, and so I had a transistor radio. And that song, I remember. Of one particular yard I was crossing across at like five in the morning because we get up at four and go get the papers and have them delivered by seven, go home, clean up and go to school. And that was our morning. And that song reminds me of a certain place I was walking and carrying a paper bag. Anyway, it's just an interesting memory to have. So that must have been 1970, October. Your childhood memories, yeah. Yeah. Come back. You know what I remember about do wait, were you you were a paperboy delivery guy? You were a paperboy deliverer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got a story about I gotta share a story about that with my cut. It has to do with my cousin Eddie. Rory, you know cousin Eddie, right? Yes. 
Okay, so um, so when my when cousin Eddie was little, my aunt had five kids, and they started to get old enough to work. So she so she's they did a uh, my little cousins they had a paper delivery route in the neighborhood. My aunt would have to drive them around because you know she didn't want them going around by themselves, but she'd drive them around. And people will get so mad and angry um, at the little kids if they delivered the paper late. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, Gosh, people yeah. were so mad. If you were five minutes, ten minutes late for delivering that oh, paper, they'd get mad. It was like, my aunt driving them. <laughs> 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 little kids. <laughs> yeah, it's tough of being a paper boy. It was. <laughs> but it, it built, you know, it builds character at that age to. And, and, you know, we were pretty courageous. There were three of us, and I was uh, 12, so 14 and 15, 14 and 16. Maybe I was 11, but and we were kids. And, you know, our parents were like, yeah, go go get it, you know. And they were they bought a lawnmower. My dad bought a lawnmower for us to, during the weekend, we could go uh, get jobs mowing yards. And, you know, this wasn't forced labor. This was a, a work ethic. <laughs> Yeah, it was your parents teaching you how to work and be responsible yeah, yeah. and have a job, have responsibilities, have to right. wake up and do something every day. Yeah, I think those are good values, but people were so mean to my little cousins. Cousin, oh, cousin Eddie was delivering the paper. They were so mean. Yeah, they. well, I guess they didn't have their internet. They couldn't just uh, pull up NPR. Or that's what I do to, <laughs> to check my morning news. But yeah. So anyway. <laughs> All right, hold That's on. I got um we, Julio wants more trivia. Hold on. Yeah, of course. Congratulations, Julio, on answering that. Yeah, we need we need more. Um okay, here we go. We let me get the um next question. Ready? Who's ready? I'm not ready. Rory, you ready? Rory's like yeah. almost done with the painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only asked answer, answer <laughs> one trivia question. All right, we gotta <laughs> run through them now. Okay, here we go. Um, which song originally written by Chris Christofferson gave Janis Joplin a posthumous number one single in the U.S. charts in 1971? Well, I know this one. Oh. I bet Bob knows it, too. I know it, yeah. Well, think Janis Joplin, 1971. Yeah. Well, like they I'm try to sure. make the they try to make the question sound so complicated and make it difficult. Well, Gordon Life had also covered it, by the way. Just a little trivia there. He covered it as well. <laughs> and Chris was was the and, uh, used and used to hang out. Bonnie Raitt. These po these folks hung out together. Uh, Chris and Janice knew each other, and it's like it's 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 uh, there were several uh, autograph. Uh, Bi uh, not biographies, but mm -hmm. biographies about about Janice that you might want to check out. Um, yep, that's it. Jo Jonathan got it, looks like. Jonathan Duncan. John Duncan gets a point for Bob, me and Bobby McGee. Yeah, it, you and know you're right, Jonathan. Play that song, Bob? Do I play John Bobby McGee? No. Yeah, Bobby McGee. I, I, no, I played a lot of good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could probably sing it, but uh, I don't know the chords to it. Uh, Julio and Jonathan, Julio and John Duncan are getting competitive now. Yeah, okay. we got to keep going because we got to so, get the lead. Okay. And we got Sarah's got a point. We got Julio with a one point, John D with one point. All right. So I guess I need another question. All right. Hold on. Next trivia question. Let's see. Which soul singer got us all hot under the collar by singing Let's Get It On in 1973? Ooh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's, uh, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> Ooh. John Duncan got it. It's Marvin Gaye. Okay. John Duncan, you got a point. Let's get it on, sugar. Uh oh, let's get it on. Do you know how to play that, Bob? One of my cre most creative backgrounds. Nope. 
You're going to get a negatory for just about every, I don't even know if I can play a cover. I don't think I can cover one no song. Covers. Okay. No, no covers. And it's not, I'm not trying to be snooty. I'm just not capable. Yeah. No, I get it. You're, you're like the opposite of me. Cause I could do covers all day. I can't do my own stuff. I've never done should. karaoke. I should try karaoke sometimes. See what they <laughs> You should. You have to come try it with me. Can you can you do a close up of that so you can see the background? Let's see, Rory. Hold on. Wait. That's that's me. I put the hold on. It's double box. I'm. I wow. have double vision. Double so vision. There you are. For posterity. Wow, I love it. Beautiful, prettier than me. Anybody wants to buy that for Bob, <laughs> contact me. I still got oh. uh, I, I, I don't know if you can see him over the corner. What a mess! I this love place it, is. Rory. Uh, Chesh and Diane. I gotta, I gotta finish Diane's picture. I gotta redo her eyes as blue. <laughs> oh, you get the eye color and, wrong. <laughs> And uh, I got to do a background on it. Uh, <laughs> so much to get to get around to. Uh, I, I still haven't done my uh, timeline for tomorrow's show. <laughs> Probably do it first thing in the morning. Uh, I've actually screenshot uh, three horror movies already for the rest of the month because I want to start working on my novel again, uh, Bachelor's Guide to Post-Apocalyptic Dating, which is the sequel to Bachelor's Guide to Post-Apocalyptic post -apocalyptic Success. And um, my my publisher has been wanting it for for almost a year, over a year now. It needs to get out before the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> At this rate. <laughs> All right, seventies trivia. Painting's done. Wait, show us the. I want to show the painting with next to Bob Ross up close. Tell me, y'all, okay. if you. Tell me all. I'll, I'll try to bring the painting up close to the camera. Tell me it's all if good. anyone wants to buy the uh, Rory's painting of Bob Ross tonight. Um, here we go. Wait, hold on. Look. There it is. <laughs> oh wow, this is cool. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the blondish hair. <laughs> it looks a little blonde in this. <laughs> Thank you, Rory. That is just awesome. That is so cool. Yeah. It really Josh, looks you, you always capture the people. You know how to capture mm -hmm. someone's essence. Um, I'm always fascinated by that, like how you do portraits and you capture the essence. And, and you do it so fast. It's like amazing. I am fast. <laughs> <laughs> Whether I'm any good or not, but I'm fast. <laughs> okay, so uh, Rory, how much is that painting available for if anyone wants to buy it? Um, I'll sell it to them for cost, uh, which would be uh, $75 includes shipping and handling and everything. Okay. So, and just DM um, you, right? You, they, they could do it anonymously. Can you they see that? It to someone. That's my Monet. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? The Bridge at Argentile by Monet. I, I, I can't. I can't pull it up closer. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can get the camera up closer. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. And pull it out of the. <laughs> <laughs> is that? That's is one that a Wow. Monet's The Bridge at Argentile. Yeah. Very beautiful. Part of the iconic art project. <laughs> wow. Um, so where um, can we follow you on that, Rory? Actually, since I've since I've done that. Are you gonna be sharing that on your more. pages? And also this everyone follow Monet. Rory on the big monster room oh, briefing show. Rory. This is Monet and in, in the guard in his garden, painted by Renoir. They knew each other, you know, they hung out together. All the French Impressionists. Uh, that's a wow. uh, Renoir's, um, uh, his nanny for his son. Uh, he painted a lot of paintings of her. Uh, oh, my God. Her name escapes me right now. This one you probably recognize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I've seen her. 
Porsche or Mercedes. And then uh, Starry Night. Gosh, you got quite a collection. Uh, you must have some really good security there. <laughs> no. He knows what Kung Fu. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no, Rory, you know who else paints? Um, hold on, I have someone else that wants to say hi real quick. That that paints. That paints. Okay. All right, hold on. Trying to get you back in the. Hi. Uh, it's me, Roland Pruitt, and um, uh, I just want to say there's a lot of uh, stressful things going on right now in the world, and uh, whenever I get stressed out, you know, I kind of hum the Mothra song to myself, you know, I got my Mothra shirt on. <laughs> got a niche there. <laughs> See, it just just immediately takes all the stress away from you, and uh, you can do that, you know, when you're getting like really, you know, stressed out. Just saying. Have a great show, guys. Roland Pruitt. He's been on the I show love before. him. We'll have to get him on the show again. We'll have to I get him on the show him. again. Soon. Paint a I also for I have us. another. I have another clip of Roland I could show real quick. Uh, real quick. Let's not. <laughs> I love what he was wearing. Love there. This is like this. I love him. Shirt. He's yeah, cute. he's got all the Godzilla shirts. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and he's wearing your glasses. He's wearing my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you both share an oculist. <laughs> I kind of have to. Otherwise, right. you're just this foggy thing over there. <laughs> trivia. <laughs> yes, okay, trivia. Okay, we, okay, we, we uh, uh, Julio's, Julio's, Julio's going, going off the rails points, like right? a crazy train. Without, if we don't do the trivia, he's going to go off the rails like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We need help. Bob, send help. Okay, here we go. Next He's got question. two, right? Julio's got two two points. No, Jonathan's Julio got two. Julio has one. has one. and Julio has one. John oh. Duncan has two. Oh. And Sarah Grover has one. Oh. Because she guessed the painting. Because she guessed Bob Ross. She guessed Bob Ross. Correct. Okay. Which Carly Simon smash hit song from 1971 was allegedly about actor Warren Beatty? See, and, and I know the song, and I and I I'd heard that it was about a singer, not yeah, one of yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's like zip. He's Bob's like this. John Duncan's calling him on the on the tissue paper phone. He's calling him on the pumpkin. Always on the pumpkin. The rain got it. We got this. This is going crazy now. Okay, here we go. Oh, the rain got it. Lorraine got it. Okay, so okay, Lorraine gets a point. Hi, Lorraine. We love you. Lorraine is Thank here. Hi, Lorraine. Okay, this Lorraine is gets Bob Ross in about twenty years. <laughs> I hope I'm still around. <laughs> <laughs> great, man. Twenty years, yeah. Oh my gosh. People thought that you were painting Moses and Jesus and. <laughs> I think it's the Easter. The Easter. It's the is beard thing. There. It's the beard thing. <laughs> okay, so who say, the the way, I told you I would. John Duncan guessed it. So, but the first one that came up on my screen was Lorraine. So, um, yeah. Oh, Julio said Lorraine spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Julio. Well, we got to give it to Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> so competitive. <laughs> okay. It was the wrong year. <laughs> Sarah said she's gonna grow a beard. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I'm <laughs> say, cry, cry, cry. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, next question. Comment section. Okay, John Duncan, you got to come out to uh, Bob's uh, bread and breakfast. 
Here we go. Okay, next bread question. And breakfast. Bread and breakfast. <laughs> you got to come to his bread and breakfast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. If, if you if you come over Let's from wait. Tasmania and you go and you go to Athens, Georgia, I will be there. I will find well, a way to be there. Okay, me too, Rory. Let's make a pinky swear, Rory. If if John Duncan comes to Athens, Georgia, to Bob's Bread and Breakfast, pinky swear, I'm going to go too. Bread and breakfast. Bread and breakfast. That's the pinky swear. Okay. <laughs> That's what's on the sign. Julio, pinky restaurant. swear, Julio. Bread, we need bread, to bread and breakfast. Be here, I don't, and David better be there too. I don't want to hear nothing. Oh, yeah. Right. We're just going to have to run a peace train all the way across the country. Everybody's no pressure. Gonna on. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. Bring your gardening seeds. Anything you want to plant in, gar in Bob's garden, bring the seeds and we'll plant them. All right. Here we go. Sorry about that. I worked a full shift today. Uh, six and a half hours. <laughs> delivering okay. Which Which 1972 hit song by Johnny Nash was recorded by Jimmy Cliff in 1993 for the soundtrack to the movie Cool Runnings. I have no idea. Mm. I like Jimmy Cliff. <laughs> you guys remember Club Paradise? <laughs> I don't know why that movie tanked. I know I know why it didn't do well. It was really a funny movie. Jimmy um, Cliff was in that one too. He was. I love Jimmy Cliff. Yeah, Robin Williams. So wait. Oh my God! What a cast. <laughs> okay, so did anyone guess the song? No, not yet. Julio was biting the bit for a question. It is. It is a Jimmy Cliff song from 1993. So if anyone can guess it. But who who recorded the original in the 70s? Johnny Nash. Johnny Nash. That's what threw me is. That's what it said. Yeah, in the in the trivia, that's what it said. Johnny Nash. Gosh. Uh, Cliff usually does well, like Bob Marley. You know, he does covers of his stuff. Usually yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, reggae. But I don't. It nothing's ringing a bell here. Somebody's well, got you know what? Do. I might know it. I might. I could hum it. Somebody. I could hum it, but that will give it away. I could hum that it. Would give it away. It's a famous Jimmy Cliff song. Um, I pretty much. Song I think everybody. Julio wants, 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 wants to hear the question again. Julio would like to hear the question again. Who wants the question again? Julio would. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, they I see again. They word it so they try to make it more confusing. Okay, which 1972 hit song by Johnny Nash was re-recorded by Jimmy Cliff in 1993 for the soundtrack to the movie Cool Runnings? Uh, Jonathan Duncan put up a, a, a guess. Uh, my horse was no partner to me. <laughs> No, that's a good guess, but yeah, no. Okay. Oh, John Duncan got it. I can see clearly now. Oh yeah, uh, so Julio got it too, but oh, cool. Julio got it too, but I saw Duncan, John Duncan, Duncan first. Okay. first. Yeah. So Duncan so got, got three. three points. He's winning. winning. That's the winning. You but Julio, three, you right? got it right too. Duncan got three, Rory. Yes. Um, Gosh. Yeah. I was trying to think who that was that sang that in the 70s. I was That's trying so hard not to hum it. Not gone. Free to Pain. Uh, I love that song. I can it's see all song. obstacles in my way. Da, da, my mom's da, here, Rory, and she's da, laughing. Da, da. My mom's here. She's laughing. Hey. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Everybody keep your penis pictures to yourselves. <laughs> 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 Your mom is going to go down in history. Dang it, I was just going to be hysterically <laughs> funny talking about people sending penis pictures. Oh my gosh, Rory. Okay. That's how I'm going to remember. Fine. 
<laughs> Sorry, Julio. You y'all had a great fight tonight, though. This was great. John, John, yeah, John Duncan got three points first. He said John worse. gets the sticker. How now He's is gonna it gonna sticker. cost a thousand dollars to ship that sticker to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> As I have no idea. How much I is it gonna no cost to send that sticker? Again, the stickers Usually it's just regular postage, which is like <laughs> 60 cents here. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. Look at Julia's but, comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. John, John has gotten a lot of stuff from uh, from me through the mail, though. It takes <laughs> forever, but he gets it. It takes forever. Right? <laughs> He's got Sorry, a general Julia. howitzer <laughs> cap. He's got a general howitzer Sorry, cap. Julio. He, got, he bought copies of my books. <laughs> so. Me and Julio down at the schoolyard. Well, thank you all for joining us for the, for the Bob Ross uh, ceremonial episode. <laughs> so good well, to thank have you on. guys. Thank Ooh, you for playing uh, some music for us. Pardon me? I said thank you for playing some music oh, sure. Glad for to. us. I love and, it. Uh, uh, being the, uh, look at John Duncan said. He said, for my art, he said you send the prize to Lorraine. Come on. Hey. Let me know when that sells, and I'll send twenty-five bucks to Mercy for Life. Beyond, I, I give every month, but uh, just to just to get that uh, on somebody's wall, I'll be glad to uh, to do a charitable donation to Mercy for Life of twenty-five dollars. So, somebody buy my picture. <laughs> I love that, Bob. Via, via, via messenger. Bob, and tell us real quick, what does Mercy for Life do? Can you give us a little briefing Mercy on that? For Life, yeah, it, it's an organization. It's based in Uganda. Uh, well, or at least the part that we're working with. And um, they uh, they tend to the needs of orphans. It's a school. Uh, they, they, uh, they have a lot of uh, health care that they work toward, uh, toward uh, people in the village. Um, it's uh, also they've they repaired an, uh, a, a water system through our contributions, a water system that uh, gives fresh water for 300 families. So this is a very hands-on organization. Um, uh, Ross Hoffman and, uh, and Fosta work it together. Uh, uh, and uh, Renee's very involved. She's the one that turned me on to them. And I'm also, uh, I'm also working with another a uh, uh, person in Uganda as well. Uh, you might see her around. Uh, her name is Aussie Marguerite, and uh, I, I sponsor her personally. And she's tending to the needs of 37 orphans, and uh, we've just got their tuition paid uh, for the term. And we also uh, uh, put together a nice uh, a meal for them for Easter and uh, working on uh, getting some medications that they need. So really, uh, the reason I love giving money to, to Mercy and to, uh, to Aussie is the money goes so far. I mean, it, what we would go out and buy one meal, like the three of us went out, we could easily spend $60, $70 without even mixed drinks, just on meals. And that amount of money is enough to buy enough food to feed 37 orphans for several days. And it, 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 we have to keep this in mind that even though we have all this wonderful food, we can do without some things. So every month I just pull back a little on my discretionary spending and I find that I have plenty of money to help these kids. Mm. So that's, that's amazing. Well, I hope other people will open up to this because I get so much fulfillment. The other morning, I got a live video from from um, Asi Marguerite, and um, and she had the children uh, there, and they were thanking me and, and for the Easter, and it was just thrilling. I'm I'm telling you that the feeling of of being able to touch uh, lives that that we take for granted, things like a, a bowl of rice. And um, and some eggs. We take this for granted, but for them, this is the nourishment that they they'll get through the day, and they're going to school. So we can make these differences. But anyway, I've talked too long about it. But you guys think about. No, thank uh, you for sharing that. Thank no, you no, for telling us. It's a great um, cause. It's a great cause. And Rory is all about great court causes as well, sure. and so am I. Yep. So thank you for sharing that. Well, um, and we are running out of time, yeah, yeah. but um, but um, 
was going to say thank you everybody for joining the trivia um thank you for hanging out i know we didn't do as much trivia as we usually do but we got to hear some amazing beautiful music from bob ross and um we got to learn a little bit more about bob ross and um we got to see the painting of bob ross and um <laughs> congratulations to john duncan in tasmania australia who won the trivia who donated it to to lorraine he donated um lorraine, the price to lorraine. yes oh. A woman so of many you, talents and everybody. smiles. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Um, Have a great night, everybody. Night. Thanks, Mom, for watching. Love you, Mom. Um, thanks, so, Mom. Um, thank Good you, night, everybody. Daddy. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week. Much love. Cosmos Creative Television presents General Howitzer's Big Monster Breathing Room every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern right here on Cosmos Creative Television, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you.